Wouldn't it be nice to plop a device into a glass of water and know how good it is for you? Well, I agree. Too bad the one I'm talking about today doesn't do that. I'll tell you why on this episode of Face 2 Minutes. ORP. This stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential. Oh, I get it. So it just tells you how much oxidation something will reduce, right? Well, it's not that simple, but I'll get into that in a moment. A common practice among water enthusiasts is to use a meter like this one to measure the ORP value of a particular water. The assumption is that if the reading gives you a negative number, then it's good to drink, and supposedly a positive number is bad. It is even assumed that the more negative it is, the better. You may hear all sorts of reasons as to why negative readings are good. Hopefully, after watching this video, you will have a clear understanding of what it is and what it actually means. Let's look at the top three misconceptions about ORP. The first is almost legitimate. It is that ORP is a test to measure the concentration of dissolved molecular hydrogen in water. At least we're looking for the right thing here, hydrogen. And it is true that ORP can detect the presence of molecular hydrogen. However, it cannot accurately measure dissolve hydrogen gas. This is because the ORP is heavily influenced by pH. In fact, only extremely low levels of H2 are required to produce a negative ORP. And a high negative ORP can have low H2 levels. Likewise, a low negative ORP can have very high H2 levels. Let's look at some examples to really put this into perspective. Let's say we have water at a pH of nine and a dissolved hydrogen concentration of 0.001 milligrams per liter or ppm. For all my H2 Blue fans, this water wouldn't even come close to clearing a half a drop of H2 Blue. This would be a hydrogen level a thousand times lower than a typical water ionizer or hydrogen infusion machine, but it would measure an ORP of negative 438 millivolts. Let's say we had another type of water that was at a pH of two and it had a hydrogen concentration of 1,000 milligrams per liter, or ppm. And again, to my H2 Blue fans, you would need 40 bottles of H2 Blue to measure this. This is a 1,000 times higher than a typical water ionizer or hydrogen infusion machine, and 1 million times more hydrogen than the 0.001 ppm from our first example. Okay, so a pH of 2 and a 1,000 ppm of H2 what would the ORP be? It would measure an ORP of only negative 201 millivolts. So with these examples, we can clearly see that ORP is primarily controlled by pH, not by H2. Okay, so we have ruled out that ORP is not a measurement of dissolved molecular hydrogen concentration. Then that must mean that ORP tests tell you that water is either positively or negatively charged, right? Well, no but it is a popular claim out there. You may also hear terms like negative water, negatively charged water, electrically charged water, etc. ORP is a measurement represented in the form of an electrical or voltage potential. Because of this, there's a prominent misconception that it means water holds a positive or negative charge. This misconception is false due to the principle of electron neutrality. This states that water is prevented from having a charge because in water, positive and negative ions must balance, which results in water always having a neutral electrical charge. Okay, so we got that one out the way. So maybe ORP is just a simple test to measure water's antioxidant power. First, just because you have a negative ORP reading doesn't mean it's good. There are some substances or elements that can give a negative ORP and may be dangerous or unhealthy. For example, aluminum and borohydrides can produce a negative ORP reading both of which can be damaging to the human body. It is very important to know what agent is causing the negative ORP reading. Also, ORP does not guarantee any particular oxidation or reduction reaction will occur. And if it does occur, it does not indicate what the reaction rate might be. Some reactions can even take years. On top of that, simple is not exactly how I would describe ORP. ORP compares the relative concentrations of redox couples of two chemical species, such as chlorine, which is the oxidized state, versus chloride, which is the reduced state. In ionized water or hydrogen water, the redox couple that is being measured is H2 
which is a weak reducing agent, and H+, or protons, which dictates pH, and also is a strong oxidizing agent. Learn more about this in this video. ORP values are based on this equation. This is the Nurse equation. It was developed by Walter Nurse, who was a German chemist in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Don't worry if you're confused, that is the point. ORP is a lot more complicated than trying to use it to prove something is an antioxidant. So with all that being said, what is the point of an ORP test? Well, strictly speaking of hydrogen water, there isn't much of a reason to use it. A negative ORP can indicate the presence of a reducing agent. And in this case, that agent is H2. But is RP necessarily needed to test hydrogen water? Okay, let's break this down. We know that molecular hydrogen is the most important property of hydrogen water. We know it's vital to know how much hydrogen is in your water for it to be therapeutic. We know that RP does not help you know the concentration of hydrogen dissolved into your water. We know that ORP does not test for anything remotely important for hydrogen water. So from all that, we can deduct we probably don't need to use ORP. Well, that settles that one. But don't be discouraged. There is a tool that can help you know if your water has therapeutic concentrations of hydrogen. H2 Blue is one of my favorite tools and I use it almost every day. I will provide a link in the description for more information and if you want to purchase some. Let me know what you think and what other misconceptions you would like me to explain in a video. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. Support us on Patreon to gain access to exclusive content. And that's your dose of H2, not ORP, in two minutes.